Gdish. Well, I do love the show Mad Men. I'm a huge fan of that program. Uh, <laughs> I've, I've seen the entire series like seven times total. Um, so that's like 93 episodes, like all together. I've done the math, that's like a thousand hours of my life that I've spent with that show. And I, very recently I came to the conclusion that like, I don't think I even really like the show Mad Men. <laughs> Um, I'm pretty sure I just like being horny. Uh, because somebody was like, what's your favorite episode? And I was like, the one where John Hamm swims a lot. <laughs> Great writing on that one. <laughs> firm, firm writing, firm, firm words. I started watching that show and I was kind of like coming to terms with my sexuality. And so like the show is essentially just like, men in suits who speak like they're narrating a chess tournament. <laughs> and I would just stare at it and be like, yeah, I'm gay, <laughs> uh, for sure. <laughs> and now to this day, I do enjoy hooking up with older guys because it feels like they could be characters in the Mad Men universe. <laughs> you know, just like a side character who like never had any words. They just like held the elevator for Don Draper in one episode. <laughs> like he'll be like, what turns you on? And I'll just like look at him and be like, tell me where you were when JFK died. <laughs> Shout out to JFK. Uh, <laughs> I am annoyed at how much media there is about JFK. You know, it feels like every other week there's like a mini series or a documentary about him and I'm like, we get it, you know? We, <laughs> he lived and then he no longer lived. And, but anytime I try to like shit on the amount of media, of JFK media, like one of my gay friends will be like, well, it was rumored he had a huge dick and he would fuck anything that moves. And I'm like, yeah, that is actually cool. <laughs> it's like really chill. Uh, <laughs> But I'm also like, why are you as a gay man going out of your way to defend a dead straight dude? You know, I just feel like your end game is to fuck JFK's ghost. You know, I feel like you like wanna like wake up at 2 a.m. one night and like see a translucent black and white JFK ghost like standing by your bed and the host or the ghost is like, slob on my knob. <laughs> Great JFK impression. <laughs> um, I did recently, wait, no, not recently. I did take a, okay, part of also living in New York is like, it was kind of just like a fun, um, people would be like, it's a liberal bubble, uh, which is kind of true, but um, I can tell that like, those people have like never gone on a date with somebody named, um, <laughs> Mark, I'm trying to, <laughs> that's not his name, obviously. But okay, so I went, I went on a date with Mark, we went to a gay bar, uh, the date was going well, um, but then out of nowhere we just, we like, we started talking about cops, and uh, I was like, oh yeah, I like hate cops, you know, like, but then Mark was like, I do too, but I'm not like a cab or anything. And I'm like, what do you mean by that? <laughs> and he was like, well, some of my friends are cops. And I was like, how many friends? And then he was like, three to four. <laughs> and I was like, it sounds like you're a cop. <laughs> and then he could tell that like, he was trying to backtrack and then in like the worst way possible, which was just him shouting, I was at the protests. I was at the protests. <laughs> While wow, like Whitney Houston's I Wanna Dance With Somebody is playing. And I was like, okay, but like which side, you know? <laughs> like I feel like I should <laughs> have to ask. Um, I do think that like, <sighs> there's already enough letters in LGBTQIA+, but maybe there is, it's worth adding like a, letter on the end, like 
S for, <laughs> which stands for some cops are bastards. Uh, <laughs> and that is for queer people who have three to four cop friends. <laughs> Okay, uh, <laughs> the last thing I'll say uh, is I do bottom, which is <laughs> a wonderful experience. <laughs> JK, it's really annoying. Uh, <laughs> the amount of preparation that goes into bottoming is absurd. It, it's like on par with packing to go on vacation. <laughs> it's like, which is the worst part of going on vacation, but at the end of the day, I'm like, yeah, I do want to go on vacation, so <laughs> let me do it five minutes before I run out the door. <laughs> um, that being said, I have accidentally shit on a dick while getting penetrated. <laughs> Other than that, I'm absolutely flawless. <laughs> The guy, the guy who was on the other end of that, he, he had white sheets. And so, and then he was like upset, but I'm also just like, you had to have known that was a potential outcome. You know? <laughs> so he like goes to another room, comes back with white towels to clean up with. And I'm like, oh, wait, if you're gay and you only have white linens, I do consider you a part of the 1%. <laughs> And me just, like getting my shit on your stuff is an act of anti-capitalism. <laughs> you know, I did that like for the people.